Hello all and welcome back to my channel, Shanae on the scene. I wanna first give out a shout out to everybody that has subscribed to my channel so far. Thank you all so very much. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, today, I'm going to be eating for you a whole rotisserie chicken with some red potatoes and B-Love Smackalicious sauce. And of course, I've got the sweet tea on duck. Mm. Ooh. I had to go pick, I didn't buy this. I picked this up from Shop and Save. And I had to put it back in the oven because it was a little, um, I don't know, I like my rotisserie to be a little crispy. Mmm. 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 Oh, good in that sauce, too. Mmm. Oh, really taste that. I think I dried mine out a little bit. <clears throat> mm. Mm, really good. This sauce is really good with chicken, guys. Mm. This is good. Real good. The sauce is hot though. Mmm. I need a I need a spoon or something. Mmm. Hot. No napkin yet. Are so hot. Mm. My poor nails. Mm. And I do have a little Kiara Sky um, dip powder set, but I don't know. Just being lazy, I guess. I don't know. So you stuck. Someone join my feet and nails for me. Mm. But I guess I'm going to have to learn because, you know, I'm sure I'm not going to want to just jump back out there going to the nail shops. Mmm. Mmm. Most nail shops around, where, I don't know, most nail shops that I've been to are seem pretty unsanitary anyway. Everybody's putting their hand in the same, you know, gel dryer. They're not wiping it out. So probably I'm about to start to learn how to do my own nails. Mm. There we go sweating. In hot, y'all. And then I got this hair down again. Mm. Oh, here we go. I don't know why I didn't wear it up. Or back or whatever the case may be. Trying to be cute. Trying to be cute. <laughs> this is a good chicken, guys. Real good. Really, 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 really. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm. Have you guys been checking in on your loved ones? My aunt called me, well, texted me today. Said, just checking in on you. That was sweet of her. Shout out to my aunt, auntie. Oh, I do get to do the fashion haul for you guys. The clothes came in. So I might record that later on tonight or maybe tomorrow morning. But it's been taking, it, I've had a hard time uploading my videos, guys. 
I don't know if the Wi-Fi connection in my house is too weak or something. I had to go park by Panera Bread just to upload the video. Mm. I'm going to have to call Atlanta Broadband and see what's up with that. Because... Can't be having that. This sauce is hot. I need a spoon or something to pick up these potatoes. I'll wait till they cool down because they are burning my fingers right on up. Right on up. Mmm. Mmm. Spilling stuff on my table. Ain't trying to do a whole bunch of cleaning up after this. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. I'm going to do some cooking videos too, guys. I want to try the KFC original recipe fried chicken. Mm. I'm going to make some homemade pierogi. Maybe. Those are kind of hard. Pierogi. You guys like pierogies? Does anybody remember that uh, movie? Ooh, excuse me. Mm. The Women of Brewster Place back in the day with Jack A. Harry and um, Oprah Winfrey was in it. That actually came on earlier and I watched it. It's a really good movie. It's old too. It's very, very old. It's a really good movie. If you've never seen it, check it out. The Women of Brewster Place. Really good. Very good rotisserie. Mm. So where I live, it's required that you wear a mask inside of the grocery store. Well, a shop and save it is. I don't think you have to at Walmart, but a shop and save, you gotta wear a mask. I already had my makeup done, so I'm gonna put my mask on. When I took it off, it's a little imprint of my face. You know, with the bottom half and the mask. I feel like that's going to be a look for me. Do my face up and then throw the mask on. No face, no case. <laughs> Suburbia. Since I met the Lord, my mind is made up. Mmm. Jesus all the way and I'm on the right track <laughs> pinky gotta be up nom 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 noms this is good this is very, very good. Ooh, that's hot. Mm-mm. 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 Oh. You guys know what I want, I think would be really fun, especially during a time right now, is a karaoke machine. I'm gonna have all my friends get one. We could do virtual virtual karaoke. Anybody completely, um, woo, just completely tired of being in the house yet? Sick and tired, boy. About to get fired, boy. Oh, 
hot. Sauce makes everything so hot. I'm gonna have to let it sit out instead of, cause you know, you put it right in here after it boils on the, you know, I heated it back up, you know, cause I made this earlier in the week. So the sauce is absolutely delicious right now cause it's sat. But when you first take it off the stove and you put it all over your food, it makes everything scorching hot. Keep burning my fingertips up, putting them in here. They're already little nubs as it is. <clears throat> volcano hey you guys make sure you tell your <clears throat> friends and family about my channel so they can come on over and subscribe too i'm gonna be having some interesting content i'm spilling food spilling the sauce all on my jeans guys that's why i keep doing that mm, 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 mm. Here we go. Hot, hot as the desert up in here. Man, and I'm usually always cold. That's so crazy. Every time I sit down to one of these videos, I be sweating and hot. I'm always cold always maybe it's maybe i'm nervous you guys are making me nervous mm. so in other news i think my butt has grown an inch guys for real because i've been wearing like mm, mm, mm like um leggings and sweats and you know pajama pants i put some jeans on today mm. i was hugging that booty booty has grown at least a half an inch at least <laughs> by the time winter time comes by the time Christmas time comes this year. I'm going to be thicker than a snicker. Y'all watch. Thicker than a snicker, okay? Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> mm Yeah, it's all the onions and bit pickled ginger is hiding up under the chicken, hiding from me. Oh, oh, oh! Mmm, ouch! Mmm, mmm, mmm. -mm. Now that is finger licking good. Mmm, 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 mmm. You know what I need, guys? I need one of them um, ring sticks till I get one. My son's going to have to be my cameraman. He was actually supposed to do this video with me, but he talked about there's something important going on on the game. I don't know what he be playing, y'all. But they act like they cannot come off of that game for nothing. He going to talk about, well, can I do it with you tomorrow? Whatever. So maybe hopefully y'all will meet Cam tomorrow. Well, you already met him in the peaky peeked his head into the first video. Oh, I tried to get him in this one today, just me and him. He can't seem to pull himself away from the game. I have not been, I, when I was a kid, I guess I was like that on a Nintendo playing Mario Brothers. I remember my grandma bought me and my brother Reese a uh, Nintendo that's oh, that's all we played of our Christmas, of our Christmas gifts all day and night on the game, and that's back in the game. You never obviously Mario died, then it was your turn if he was Luigi, 
but the person who was Mario was the main person. So you could you could like pause it when Luigi was jumping and make him die. We used to always cheat like that with each other. And I think I got into Sega a little bit when Sonic the Hedgehog came out, but that was it after them. I don't know how to play any of these games. They look so real though. There was all kind of custom going on on one of them games he was down there playing. I'm like, what did they be? Mm. 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 Mm -mm. How many guys, how many of you like um, old school banana pudding? Not the one with the whipped cream. Talking about the one where you make your own pudding from scratch and you make your own meringue from the egg whites and some sugar and some cream of tartar. I made one um, probably about three weeks ago. It was really good. It just gives you that old familiar you know, my mom's from South Carolina. She used to make me that all the time whenever I was a little kid. But it is very, very rich. After eating, you know, after we finished, you know, the batch of it, it was like, okay, I could wait until maybe the holidays for another banana pudding. That's how rich it was. And just, you know, it was good, though. It was definitely good. Mm. Just like the chicken is very, very good. It's rotisserie. <clears throat> so yeah, hopefully, like I said, I'm gonna call Atlantic Broadband to see um, how strong my Wi-Fi, how strong my, is that who I need to call? Is this the internet's issue? Yeah. I'm gonna call them tomorrow, see what is going on with my Wi-Fi. Because I'm telling you, that thing was processing, that last video was processing for like a day. And like I told you, I went right to Panera Bread and loaded right up in like five minutes. So it's obviously something with my Wi-Fi, clearly. I'm gonna get that fixed because I wanna get these videos out to you guys, get this content out regularly, daily. I'm gonna start getting on a schedule with it. Mm. I feel like my lashes are like a little off today. Do they look a little off to you guys? Mm -hmm. I put these on my own hands with my little fingers today, y'all. That's how you know you're getting good when you could just put your lashes on with your fingers. <laughs> mm. Don't rush, baby, don't rush. A little piece of skin. That's always good, too. Mm -hmm. These eyelashes just, I don't know what's going on with them today. I feel like they look like they're about to just drop right off my, um, right off my lash line. Oh, well, if it falls, it falls. If it falls, it falls, y'all. Mmm, I'm getting full. I am getting full. Mmm, mmm. I'm gonna eat some sweet potatoes. I definitely am. Mmm, mmm. -hmm. Mm. 
Mm. Uh, one more potato. Two more. Two more potatoes. <clears throat> I'm not going to eat the legs, guys. I don't. I don't like chicken legs that much. They're too. There we go. I'm at. Last video, they was like, stay off your, stay out your nose. Seemed like you was just on your nose too much. I'm not picking my nose. It just itched a little bit and I scratched it. But those of you that know me know that I am a gold digger sometimes. <laughs> Everybody's picked their nose before behind closed doors. I just do it out in, in, in the open. <laughs> oh my, oh me. Me, oh my, my. <laughs> oh, man. Mm. Yeah, but I don't like legs. That's what I was saying. Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. I don't like chicken legs. I feel like they're too, like I'll eat, I could eat like the first, oh, excuse me. <coughs> oh, a piece of spice went down my throat the wrong way. Mm. Ooh, chow. But like I said, I don't like them because they're too veiny to me. Like I just feel like they're too, um, I don't know. It's like it's, they're too veiny. Like I don't know. I don't like them. You won't see me eating them too much. <clears throat> I don't do chicken legs. All I got. I will do some chicken wings. Chicken wings. Chicken breasts. I really don't even like thighs like that because they're just too. Uh, I don't know. They get. They, it's like they're too wet to me or something. I don't know. Something about them. I don't like. I, mean, I don't like dark meat chicken too much. Unless it's baked. But even then, still, I really don't mess with those parts. I'd rather, I don't know. It is what it is. I really don't like legs. Mm -hmm. I do my happy dance. You know what I'm gonna learn? Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Renegade, renegade. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Someone's gonna teach me this dance. Mm -hmm. Wait, how's it go? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so maybe one day I'll learn it. I was never, ever good at learning um, choreography. I was a cheerleader in high school. And when we would have to learn, the, and that's crazy. But I will be the first to tell you, I'm not a good dancer at all. But I will get my ass out there on the dance floor, please. Believe it. Please believe it. But I've never been good with choreography. So it'll probably take me about three, four months to learn that dance. <laughs> I'm telling you, you probably will. And I already know I'm not going to get the Savage. The Savage seems like it might be a little bit easier than the Renegade, but um, they both look a little difficult to me. Only one I could do is shake it out. Oh, 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 and that I think that was wrong. <laughs> I'm just not a good dancer, guys. I would love to learn Aunt Viv's dance. Remember when the Aunt Viv showed all the girls up in her choreo in her dance class? They didn't think she could do it. The dark skin Aunt Viv. I'm, I mean, I say Aunt Viv. I'm talking about the dark skin Aunt Viv. She was the truth. Remember when they used to do that back in the day? put a whole another person into someone's role. Like just uh, have something happen to him or something. I, I hate it when they did that. 
how you gonna change someone's whole mother up and continue on with the show like we don't notice? You know what I'm saying? Like, come on now. I don't even think the show recovered after that. It was over a few years after that, wasn't it? Can't just change somebody's mom and just expect us to go with that. No, I didn't want to see it no more. Now, what if, oh, I know the, the world would have been hot. Now, what if they would have replaced Claire Huxtable with someone? That could have never happened. Could you see any other woman playing Claire Huxtable? Absolutely not. Mm, Miss Claire Huxtable is a legend. Mm. No one else could have did Claire like Claire. And no one else could do Dark Skin and Viv like Dark Skin and Viv. You just gotta, you know, go with who you started with or just kill them off or something. You know, you just gotta write them out. I'm bringing a whole new woman like, oh yeah, this is her now. I'm like, mm. <laughs> You know we could see right. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. What are some foods you guys would like for me? You know, drop in the comments some foods that you would like to see me eat or some foods that you would like to see me cook. I'm not gonna say I'm the world's best cook, but I definitely can throw down on some things. Now, I'm not a good baker. Please don't ask me to bake no cakes or nothing like that. Only reason I did the banana pudding really well is because I watched my mom do that for years. So that's the only reason. But as far as the reason I'm a mm, the reason I think I'm a bad baker is because I have a problem with following measurements correctly. I'm a taste to um, you know, I taste and go. Mm, spitting. Sorry guys. I'm a taste and go type of person. So baking for me, if it calls for, you know, this amount of flour, I'm gonna be like, oh, that don't look like enough for this batch and put a little bit more and ruin the whole thing. Because, you know, bake, when you bake, you have to be really precise on, you know, those little things. If they say a dash, they really mean a dash. You can't, you know. <laughs> so I'm very, oh, I can make sweet potato pies because I've watched my grandma Bert make those for years. So I could also make sweet potato pies. But other than that, don't ask me to go too far with the baking. I'm telling you. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Funniest story in the world. I knew I had something that I could share with y'all. Did I already tell y'all this? I hope I ain't repeating myself already and this is only my third video. I don't think I told y'all this yet. But anyway, this is back like six years ago because I've been, I haven't eaten pork in six years. So probably six years ago when I still did eat pork, I had a, um, I had some chitlins on the pot, in the pot on my stove. So you know how you gotta let chitlins cook all night. You, well, you gotta let them cook for a long time. So I thought I put them down on low or it must not have enough water in it. I don't know, but had them on, I went to bed. I wake up to all the alarms in my house going off. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And I run out, all I smell was burnt. <laughs> And it's the chitlins and they're in there black as hell sizzling. I was like, what in the world? And I'm running around trying to like fan all the, um, you know, all the smoke detectors, opening up windows, opening up the doors and stuff. Next thing I knew, I got to knock on the door. The whole fire squad's outside. I was like, man, he was like, what happened? I was like, I'm not here burning chitlins. I don't know if he didn't believe me or not. He came in, he looked in the pot. He was like, yep, she burnt the chitlins. <laughs> Oh man. So they had to open up both of my doors. They brought this big hose in and it like aired out the house, which I'm glad that they did come and do that because that smell would have probably lingered for, for a very, very long time. But um, that was crazy. But like right after that, I quit eating pork. I think I ate them one more. I think I ate chitlins one more time. Well, I did eat chitlins. I ate them over at my Aunt Natalie's house because my chitlins had burnt. And the, that day that I was over there eating the chitlins, it just they it just started, I don't know, it, they tasted very, I have loved chitlins my whole life, loved them. There is not a holiday that went by that I was not eating chitlins. But um, <clears throat> I don't know, just whenever um, I was eating them at my aunt's house that one day, they just started to taste really organy to me and they never had before. And then, um, you know, I just decided to give up pork. It was a little bit tough. The only thing that I really, really um, miss is bacon, like crispy. Well, that was a hard transition for me, transitioning from 
pork bacon to turkey bacon because when you first do it straight off the pork bacon and you taste turkey bacon that stuff tastes like paper you know what i mean like you don't want that after you you know what i mean but now i absolutely love it because i haven't eaten pork in years so now turkey bacon and turkey sausage is amazing to me but i have been rambling on about pork and chitlins a little too much with y'all so i will see you next time and guys don't forget to subscribe to my video tell your friends to subscribe tell your family to uh, <laughs> tell your family to subscribe and i will see you tomorrow hopefully if my video uploads um, if not, like I should, I'm gonna have to ride up to Panera Bread and sit in the parking lot and try to upload it again. But I will be seeing you guys sooner than later. I love you and I appreciate you and thank you. Goodbye.